Hello! In this video, we are going to discuss the reduction of nitriles to amines, both for saturated nitriles and then for unsaturated nitriles. Recall that a saturated nitrile has the general structure RCN, where here we have the cyano group, and R is going to be an alkyl group, a saturated group, a paraffin group. The nitrile will undergo reduction, and we'll see how that happens. And our product is going to be a primary amine, again, where R is going to be an alkyl group, a saturated group. How can we achieve this reduction? There are two general ways. The first way is catalytic hydrogenation, where we use hydrogen gas, H2, and an appropriate catalyst, which will be some specialized version of nickel, platinum, or palladium, just as when we're reducing alkenes and alkynes in principle. The second way is by chemical reduction. So we can use the very strong reducing agent, lithium aluminum hydride, and this will reduce a nitrile down to an amine. Ordinary use of sodium borohydride will not be effective because sodium borohydride is not a sufficiently strong reducing agent to reduce a nitrile. However, if we combine sodium borohydride with cobalt chloride, COCl2, we actually form in situ a sufficiently strong reducing agent that we will be able to reduce a nitrile to a primary amine. Other useful reducing agents include aluminum hydride, ALH3, and the adduct of borane and methyl sulfide. In our first reaction, we take SA nitrile, commonly known as acetonitrile, and we reduce it. Here we're showing it as if we're doing catalytic hydrogenation, but we get the same results if we use a chemical reducing agent like lithium aluminum hydride, and our product is going to be ethyl amine. Please see the following diagrams, which show the computed structures for the reactants and the products of this reaction. For our next reaction, we reduce propane nitrile to N-propyl amine. Please see the following figures showing the computed structures of the reactants and the products involved. Next, we reduce butane nitrile to N-butyl amine or 1-butyl amine. Please see the following figures showing the computer structures of the reactants and the products. Here we have pentane nitrile being reduced to n pentyl amine. Please see the following diagrams, which show the computed structures of the reactants and the products.
Now for the rest of the video, we are going to look at the case where we have unsaturated nitriles. Our first example is going to be this 2-butene nitrile. And we can reduce specifically the nitrile functionality by using chemical methods like lithium aluminum hydride or sodium borohydride with cobalt chloride. And we specifically reduce the cyano group while keeping the alkene functionality intact. And this gives us 2-butene amine. On the other hand, by carefully choosing our hydrogenation catalyst, something like platinum on aluminum, we can specifically reduce the alkene functionality while leaving the cyano group alone. So in this case, we get butane nitrile. Please see the following computed structures for the reactants and the products for both of the possible uh, reduction reactions. The other unsaturated 4-carbon nitrile is this 3-butene nitrile, which is also the allylic nitrile. Again, by chemical methods, we can specifically reduce the cyano group, in which case we get this 3-butenamine, or by carefully chosen catalyst, we can reduce just the alkene functionality to get, again, butane nitrile. Notice, for example, that we involved the transfer of two molecules of hydrogen for this reduction, but only one molecule of H2 for this particular reduction. Please see the following figures, which show the computed structures for each of these two reductions. Finally, we are going to compare the reduction of various 5-carbon unsaturated nitriles. The first of these nitriles is 2-pentene nitrile. By using chemical methods like lithium aluminum hydride, we can specifically reduce the cyano functionality, the nitrile, to a primary amine while keeping the alkene unaffected. In the process, we get 2-pentene amine. With the properly chosen catalytic system, we can specifically reduce just the alkene functionality while keeping the nitrile functionality intact. In the process, we get the pentane nitrile, the n-pentane nitrile. Please see the following figures, which show the computed structures for the reactants and the products for both of these reductions.
Suppose that our unsaturated nitrile is 3-pentene nitrile. Again, we can target just the cyano functionality using lithium aluminum hydride or sodium borohydride plus cobalt chloride, and we can specifically reduce just the cyano group to a primary amine, and we're left with 3-pentene amine. On the other hand, we can specifically reduce the alkene functionality using catalytic hydrogenation in very carefully chosen reaction conditions. And then again, we get as our product, the N-pentane nitrile. Please see the following figures, which show the computed structures for reactants and products. Last, but certainly not least, of the five carbon nitriles that are unsaturated, we have the 4-pentene nitrile. If we reduce just the nitrile functionality using uh, lithium aluminum hydride, for example, then we get this 4-pentene amine, which is a primary amine, but still has the unsaturation in the alkeno portion. On the other hand, we can specifically target just the alkene functionality and reduce it catalytically using hydrogen and a catalytic system so that we get the n-pentane nitrile. Please see the following figures with the computed structures of the reactions and the products and see the table which shows in a tabular form the computed energies of reaction for the various reductions. Notice that the change in the enthalpy of reaction as we change the position of the unsaturation and as we uh, change the length of the alkyl or alkenal chain. Another thing to keep in mind is that the larger the magnitude of the reduction, the, it's always going to be exothermic because we have a loss of entropy going from uh, either three or uh, two molecules down to one, the more, uh, the greater the magnitude of the enthalpy of reaction, the less stable the initial nitrile was. So the smaller the value, the more stable the original nitrile was. The greater the negative value, the more exothermic the reduction is, the less stable the original nitrile was. I thank you again for your very kind attention. Have a good one.
I thank you once again for your kind attention. As always, have a good one.